Hello guys, so here and welcome to Shexel tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at equipment maintenance tracker. So this is a very unique template for tracking maintenance programs of your workplace equipment to ensure that equipment continually remain in good service and are without risk to the safety of users. So users can actually track various maintenance programs such as plant preventive maintenance, corrective maintenance, predictive maintenance, condition-based maintenance, or whatever maintenance program you implement at the workplace. This template can actually help you to track it. And the template is most suitable for safety professionals and maintenance engineers. So without further ado, let's get straight into the features. Now there's a table of content which helps users to navigate within the workbook by just clicking here without having to use the tab. And this is the approved list. This is where you provide a random list of parameters that we are going to be using the equipment register. So in terms of parameters, we're looking at list of equipment, list of equipment categories, maintenance, various maintenance types like preventive, breakdown, condition based. You're going to provide all of them here. Frequencies for maintenance, we have them as monthly, quarterly, six monthly, yearly. And these ones actually helps us to set the frequency. So monthly is 12 times, quarterly is four times, six monthly is twice a year, and yearly is once in a year. And then again, we have the equipment condition, the remarks, whether out of service or in good service, and then the action status, whether open and close. So these are going to be used in the equipment register. So the equipment register is where you build a database of your workplace equipment because you want to have absolute control. You need to gather as much adequate information about your workplace equipment in terms of the equipment ID, the type of equipment which you'll be selecting from the drop down list. The equipment category, the serial number of the equipment, the manufacturer, the contact details, the date of purchase, date it was put into service, location of the equipment, physical condition, whether good or bad, maintenance service provider, contact person, contact number, frequency of maintenance. So this is where you set the frequency of the maintenance program. Now this section is actually coming from the maintenance log. When you, whenever you log the maintenance activity, it's going to capture the last date of maintenance. And based on the frequency of maintenance, it's going to tell the next maintenance date, all right? And then the days due would automatically be counted for you based on the next maintenance date. And, and based on the days due, it's going to also determine whether maintenance status is overdue in date or due soon, all right? So this section actually provides a summary of all the activities that's going on in here. And given that you have a large database of workplace equipment, then you find this section very, very useful. Now the source data is the maintenance log, then this is where you actually log all your maintenance activities. As and when you carry out those maintenance activities, you need to log them and provide the kind of activity you carried out. The type of maintenance program, which you select from the drop-down list, you know, the activity, the who performed it, who checked it, what's the outcome of the maintenance, is it in good service, is it out of service? You know, maintenance action, all right? Any corrective action or preventive action that you wanna provide here, and then progress updates. And then again, that will automatically determine next maintenance date, which will populate on the equipment register. All right. So that is how this section is. This is the source data just for logging maintenance activities. Now, at a glance on the dashboard, we can tell the number of maintenance activities we carried out so far. And that is all the activities we've logged on the maintenance log. And then again, we can tell the number of equipment that are on schedule. So the number of equipment that are on schedule, you can see that from the equipment register. So you can see we have five pieces of equipment on, on the register. And that's exactly the same number of equipment that we've been providing maintenance activities on. If you click here, you can actually see from the drop down and um, the filter. And again, you can scroll all the way here and you can look at the number of equipment that are actually on schedule. So we have these are unique, you know, entries just to identify the number of equipment that are on schedule. And again, at a glance, you can tell we have two overdue and three in date. And that's exactly what you see on the dashboard. Three are in date, two are overdue. Now, maintenance trend, we can see the maintenance trend over the time frame since January to July. Over here is the maintenance status, how many are in date, how many are overdue. There's the frequency of maintenance. How many times have we carried out preventive maintenance, breakdown maintenance, condition-based maintenance? And over here, the maintenance status of the equipment, those that have been closed and those that are still open. So we can actually see from here, if you click close, you can see that two of them have been closed. And this tells us the days that you will use to close the activity or the maintenance um, action, any corrective action related to it. And then again, open, you can, till, you can see how many maintenance actions are still open. All right. So the overall goal is they want to make sure that you've closed every maintenance activity. So this actually helps you to visualize whatever is happening within the maintenance log. And this is the trend report. These are individual pivot charts and pivot tables that we've used, 
you know, which you can actually use for your internal communication with other stakeholders about maintenance status of equipment, right? So all these are some of which we use for the for the dashboard. Now here is the maintenance history. So this is where you can actually filter by the equipment and see all the activities that were carried out over the time frame as far as this piece of equipment is concerned. And then again, this section is about how many actions are open and closed for related to the equipment. And here is about the equipment action register. So you have some corrective actions, preventive actions. You can click here and you can look at you know, what actions are those. All right. So currently they are there as nothing reported because we actually provided nothing nothing to report for those actions. So that's what this template is all about. Now to show you how to use this template, always make sure you have this list, you know, build, you build on this list or you literally, you know, build your own list, random list of these parameters and make sure you have all your equipment in, in the spreadsheet as your equipment register, all right? And then again, log all your maintenance activities as you carry them out and that will actually automatically provide the next maintenance, sorry, the last maintenance disk because that will be coming from the log. All right. So right now, let's try to solve the two maintenance programs that are overdue. All right. So take note the number of maintenance activities we've carried out according to the, you know, according to the dashboard is 20. So let's just build on it. We're going to solve the ones that are overdue. All right. So assuming maintenance activity was carried out yesterday, which is 11th of 2nd of November 2022 all right and the maintenance the equipment that we maintain is the Liber J10 Liber J10 and as you can see automatically changes it to in date simply means we've already carried out the maintenance activity it was done on this day so we provide the data that maintenance was done and it provide a type of activity that was perhaps a preventive maintenance so we do that perhaps every you know every What's the frequency for that? The frequency you can find it here for Liber is every um, every quarter, all right? So we've done the maintenance activity. We changed the oil. It was the same field mechanic. It was, it was checked by a maintenance engineer. Equipment is indeed, there's nothing to report, nothing to report. Actions have been closed. Actions were closed on the same date as um, it was reported because literally there's nothing really to post so we just make sure that we've closed it and we provided the date all right now that we are done all we need to just refresh all we go to the data tab we refresh all and as you can see once we include in november then you're going to tell us we have 21 maintenance activities in the log five equipment are on schedule four are in date all right and one is still overdue so we come to the equipment register that is exactly what is there one is overdue you recall that over here it was Overdue now, it has picked the last date of maintenance from the equipment from the maintenance log, which is November 2nd, and that is right there indeed. So let's correct this one as well, which is a um, portable air conditioner, and that's equipment ID. So we go on to the maintenance log, the same date of maintenance, we select you know the equipment, and because we've carried out the maintenance now, it, it tells us that is in date, and then that will be based on the date that you provide here. So that is usually the date that you carry out the maintenance activity. So we provided information, whatever activity was carried out, who did it, who checked it, what's the status of it, any action to report on, nothing to report, and any action has been closed. So we provide it accordingly as closed. And there we have it. So now within our maintenance log, nothing is you know overdue so we come here we go to the data tab on the menu and refresh all so as you can see maintenance activities are now 22 in number five are on schedule five are in date no equipment is due soon due today or overdue and there you have it on the graph the various maintenance activities so now let's go to the database and make sure that we've closed you know maintenance actions data let's make sure everything is closed so we just close all because ideally we want to make sure that there's nothing open so because if there is no maintenance, pendant maintenance action, then it stands to reason that maintenance actions data should be closed. So that has been done. We come to the data tab, we refresh all, and you realize that when it comes to, you know, so every equipment has been closed, you know, there's no maintenance activity pendant. And then the duration of maintenance we can actually, you know, provide them based on the date. So that's just trying to clean up the data. So at a glance, you can tell how whatever happens here is what gets transferred transferred here 
and also get shown here. So imagine you have a large database of workplace equipment, then you can see that at a glance you can know which equipment is due for, for servicing. So there's a, a very, very interesting template for safety and environmental, safety professionals and maintenance engineers. If you're interested in, in this template, all you need to do is visit us on www.shexel.com. All right. Right in the middle here, you can locate equipment ID, sorry, equipment maintenance tracker. And that is the right there, equipment maintenance tracker. You click on it. It takes you to the product page. To learn more about the product that's where you're going to see all the pictures about the product and you can actually click on download file here and that'll take you to the download you know page where you can actually check out so we did a video a while back and for some reason youtube said violated youtube terms and service and the the reason was that it's against about security it doesn't make sense so we've had to do another video all right so um if you're interested all you need to is just you know download and that'll be it so thank you all for your attention and meet you again in another video bye for now